Hello and welcome, it's Jilly Cube. I'm here on the Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia, coming to you with one of my favourites. Um, it's using the bubble wrap, the bubble wrap from packing material with the bubbles up. I always find that it gives uh, the acrylic art piece like a textured kind of effect. So um, that's what I'm doing today. I'm using that. Um, masking tape to to literally stick down the bubble wrap so when I put the canvas onto the bubble wrap and lift it it won't lift the bubble wrap up as well it just really helps it and then um, as you can see this is a canvas that I have literally poured on three times and scraped because I wasn't happy with the results and yes you can actually scrape the paint off when you're finished if you're not happy with it and start again i was just having a bad few days with art um well with lots of things but um i needed to paint so i just push on but um yeah i'm going to give this canvas another go what i just did there was mark the canvas the size of the canvas in the texture just so i don't waste any paint and go out of that area um, I'm trying something different this time with um, just squeezing the paint from the, the containers and putting it on in a kind of a flower shape uh, to see if I can get the shape of the flower. So I'll um, just let you watch the um, it proceed and I'll jump in where I feel I need to. So they're all nice bright colours and basically just layering them any which way you like um, one thing I have learned about this technique it is better if you use thicker paints it just w it does work better so I've used the nice cool red there and this is my champagne gold which is 50% gold 50% silver metallic
so there's lots of colors gone in there i added some navy some lilac some super bright orange and then that is just like a moss green um, i'm really hoping that i get a kind of flower effect on it um, but we will see uh, i'm just giving my canvas a quick coat of just a, a very thin coat of um, white paint over it just so um yeah it's it's covered the canvas before i actually do my dip onto that uh, bubble wrap dip so if you've never tried the bubble wrap dip it's always good fun you can do it with you know your girlfriends boyfriends your husband wife or children love this technique so um definitely give it a go if you haven't you usually get great results with it but remember my mistake if you uh, you do better with thicker paints rightio lifting the canvas up and plopping it down on top of um, where i've put the markers so you kind of hit the spot so it's just gently using the weight of your hands to to press your canvas into that bubble wrap like i said it hopefully will give a nice textured effect so sort of go all the way over your canvas pressing it down so you want to transfer that paint that's underneath onto the canvas for sure so just take this time to relax and um just yeah press that paint out and the re and you'll see the reason why i put those uh blue tape down so is it it doesn't lift up the um, bubble wrap here we go here we go oh 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 dear 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 oh no <laughs> um I'm thinking that my paints were too thin. It's kind of like a blurry, like you see in a blurry look with your eyes, but it should look um, a lot more defined than that. I mean, so I'm thinking at this point, yeah, what can I do to make this better? So what you do is you get your balloon and you kiss, give it the kiss of life, and you'll see that this particular piece will come back to life once I've done the balloon kissing in it but yes yeah, so how <laughs> much for my oh my gosh the crazy flower ended up a big blob oh well you get some winners and some losers and I definitely did not get a good one today with the balloon um with the uh bubble wrap dip normally I just love these so I yeah definitely should have done my paints thicker i'm thinking but let's see if i can make anything beautiful out of this <laughs> well my lovelies um trying to make um a silk purse out of a sow's ear is that the, the saying um i'm really yeah disappointed with the shape completely didn't get it but you know you just push on and it looks like this canvas might be another um one that i need to scrape i mean what do you guys think uh pretty in places but the shape is a bit you know iffy well, my lovelies, please take care and thank you so much for sticking with me to the end. Thank you very much, sticky viewers. Um, really appreciate you all. So there you go. I'm going to show my um, the bad ones along with the good because, you know, it gives some people hope that I don't get it right every time either. So what do you guys think? Alrighty, I will say bye for now. Take care.